Hey folks, this is Z-Man with Kadesh Farm out here with my girl Molly. We are doing some hay unrolling. We uh, got a tow strap, got a San Jose bar that I have driven through to roll a hay. It's not the best quality of hay because it had some broom sedge in it, but I actually took some molasses and poured it onto the hay to make her eat it because she loves molasses. As you can see her finishing up that hay that she did not want to mess with the other day. So we basically take this contraption and pull it on the four wheeler. We're trying to build the soil fertility up out here. And I'm just using all kinds of methods. This grass or hay actually has some other type seeds in it that are desirable. And I will be buying a better quality hay to make sure that we get seeds and things of uh, plants and, and, and things that we want that are desirable for our field. So about a four, four, almost five acre field that we have out here. And I'm rotating her through small lanes. I went and got me a power post, which I'll do a video on a power post, post that I got from PowerFlex. Oh my gosh, I love the power post. It's just making my job so much easier. I am able to set up paddocks in advance. I'm not sure if you can see that reel that's way out there. And I also have another one that's down there that is set up on a power post. So right now, I am one paddock ahead of myself. So as soon as I'm done removing this wire that I have her on the paddock, I'll take it down. She moves into this paddock while I'm unrolling the hay. And then... All we have to do is take that wire down over there to get her moved into that paddock. And I'm kind of leapfrogging. I will take this power post down that's on this wire and go ahead and set up the next paddock. So I'll always be a paddock or two ahead. And I am allowing her to back graze just because the soil is so poor. It was poor, but we're in the process of building it up um, for her to be able to get access to a water. I could easily just move the water down. I may do that, but we're trying to get some, what you call those honey locust pods that are have fallen off a tree. So we need the daylight. If you look at that beautiful sunset, we're running out of daylight. Molly's enjoying herself out here. We still haven't gotten the other cow out or the sheep out, but it's a slow process for us with me having to work a full-time job and doing the things that we do to get things going out here. But she loves the molasses we get our molasses from the amish in kentucky i'll take it and dilute it with water to stretch it out we usually buy it by the five gallon bucket and we'll take it and give it to our sheep and also to our cows and goats they love it if it's hay all the way down to the last bit and they don't want to finish it and i don't want it to be wasted i pour a little bit of molasses on it and guess what voila it's all gone we unrolled this hay down through here and she's actually eating it up pretty good. Did a pretty good job of eating it. I come through one night while I was out here um, helping, uh, dealing with her. Poured molasses on it. You can see all the broom sedge in it with the bloom or flower or seed or whatever you call it. But she did a pretty good job of eating this stuff up. But that's what I'm interested in right there. That right there. Those beauties right there. Fertility. All down through here. She's stomping this grass down. And... Just mixing this stuff up pretty good and giving me all the nutrients in the ground that we need. I still haven't seen any earthworms out here. Of course, now we're getting into the fall. We actually had a couple of, maybe two, three days of frost. So a lot of earthworms are probably buried down. Actually, we haven't seen any out here. We actually put some up there by where my truck is and hopefully they will spread. I'm not beyond buying earthworms. If we buy them for fishing and we don't use them all, I'll just bring them out here and put them up under a patty and let them start getting themselves established out here. On our other property, we have dung beetles and I will be transporting some dung beetles out here because I haven't seen any. I've seen one. I actually saw one that was uh, a near septic tank that we have out here. It was. I'm not exactly sure why he was over there because there's nothing in the septic tank. But we want to relocate, relocate the dung beetle to start that, that process out here. 
It's a slow process, but I'm enjoying it. We get to see this place from poop to paradise. Probably not a good way of putting it, but that's where I look at it. Because look at all this broom sage. Right? What's up, Lil Z? Hey. But looking at all this broom sage out here, undesirable. Um, we are also trying to establish a little bit of habitat, or a good bit of habitat for quail. Because on the different part of our property up on the hill, there, we've seen quail all through here naturally. And I just want to keep that going. I got TWRA coming out, Tennessee Wildlife Association. They're excited that we actually have quail out here. Um, last time I saw it was two weeks ago. I saw one, but we've seen four, five, six, seven in coveys out here. Thought I heard one, but we're trying to get quail established. We have deer, turkey, um, coyotes, wildlife. We have wildlife out here, but we want to get this place established where we can come out and enjoy it. Let's see if I can give you a quick video on how this bad boy work. Let's see here. And we get it started up. Push it, pull it up, pull the gear up one. There you go. I'm gonna walk beside the four-wheeler as I do this. See so we can pretty I don't have it level. Kind of got the bar thrown driven in there a little lopsided but you get the concept it will unroll if i would have had it right there we go Let's see here of course i'm walking beside the pool trying to get, see how oh, look at that this working whoa i'm about pulling myself off into the ground All right, we'll have to unhang that one there you go little z but what I, hold on, let's do something. We'll take this magic gold here called molasses. Hey, go raise that wire and keep her over there. Micah, go raise the wire to keep her over there. Raise the wire to keep, well, never mind. She didn't made it across now. She should bring it over there again. She loves the molasses over here. Yeah. And that's the only thing she cares about. Yep, she loves that molasses. But I'll pour it in and let it soak a little bit to let her get the smell. You know what, you do whatever it takes to not waste money. That's basically what we're doing. Of course, as she steps all through it, pushing some of the seeds into the ground. And now a year ago, man, I'd be all upset because she's walking on top of the hay. Go ahead and unroll it. Yes, down at the end. There you go. There you go. Look at there. Watch that wire. All right. That's okay. But it did unroll a good bit. But we got to turn the four wheel around. But this is a Z Man. I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what we're using to unroll hay. I don't. At the time, have the money to buy an expensive hay unroller. So we're just doing what we can do to get things done out here and allow our cow to eat and build fertility. This is Z-Man, and I'm out.